The UN Human Rights Council has once again put the spotlight on the human rights situation in North Korea, passing a resolution for the 22nd year in a row. Now, Pyongyang accused the West of fabricating issues inside the regime. Shin sae has more. The United Nations Human Rights Council has passed a resolution addressing human rights issues in North Korea for the 22nd consecutive year. The Council unanimously approved the resolution without a vote during its 55th session at the UN office in Geneva on Thursday. China, Cuba and Eritrea opted out the session, citing concerns about double standards on the resolution. The resolution strongly condemns North Korea's systematic violations of human rights and calls for urgent reforms. This year's resolution includes updates that reflect the South Korean government's concerns, including those urging Pyongyang to abolish or amend its laws that limit the freedom of thought, religion and expression. It also strengthens clauses related to North Korea's fulfillment of its obligations under international human rights treaties. Another significant addition to this year's resolution is the request for the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights to prepare a comprehensive report on the human rights situation in North Korea. This request comes a decade after the publication of the 2014 UN Commission of Inquiry report on North Korean human rights. The resolution also calls for North Korea to join key human rights treaties, such as the Convention Against Torture, and to honor its commitments to the international human rights conventions it is already a part of. Following the adoption, North Korea expressed strong objection, accusing the West of fabricating human rights issues in the regime. The adoption of uh, resolutions is repeated by the EU as an annual event as the instigation of the United States. The so-called human rights issue fast by the West does not and cannot exist in the people-centered socialist system. Meanwhile, South Korea's foreign ministry expressed its approval on Thursday, welcoming the decision and reaffirming its commitment to addressing North Korean human rights issues on an international level. Shin Sebyo, Arirang News.